A consumer alert tonight. The pandemic revealed just how important a strong, reliable internet connection can be. But did you know you could be paying way too much for your service? NBC 15's Darwin Singleton shares five tips for lowering your bill. Carl Hornet and his wife rely on internet access every day, just like any other utility. We use it the way you use water or, or heat, <laughs> AC in your house. But when it comes to cost versus value, you just pay what you gotta pay. Many internet subscribers don't know they could be getting the same service for less. Everybody's getting ripped off on their internet bills and their phone bills and pretty much everything. Yes. Ben Kurland is a co-founder of Bill Fixers. It's a Nashville-based company that negotiates bills down on your behalf and then splits the savings with you. Their top tips for people looking to lower their internet bill include pick up the phone and call, don't call on nights or weekends, and be friendly. I think people think of negotiating bills as something that needs to be confrontational, but the people working at the call center for your internet provider aren't the ones who jacked up your rate and they have a lot of control over whether you're going to get a good deal or not and it doesn't really matter to them. So if you call and are asking them about their day and, and treating them like a human being, they're going to be a lot more inclined to actually help you out. Lastly, don't get talked into additional services and know your other options. That when you contact your provider, you can kind of confidently say, hey, I, you know, I can go with X provider and save 20 bucks a month, so I'm going to leave. And that basically like triggers a little flag on their end that says, oh no, this person's about to leave. We got to offer them retention discounts, which is where the really juicy savings are. If there's only one provider in your area, that doesn't mean you're stuck. Kirkland says some internet companies lose track of what's available where and accidentally offer competitive rates anyway. The worst case scenario is you waste time and end up paying the same rate. The best case scenario is you save money and feel confident enough to do it again. Darwin Singleton, NBC 15 News. For another look at those tips, visit our website, myNBC15.com, to see the story again.